What's up everyone, welcome back to the shop. Dovetails, hand cut dovetails, bandsaw dovetails, even table saw dovetails. Where is the scroll saw dovetail love? Let's do it. Marking gauge, let's set the thickness of our material. Scribe both sides of our faces. For the tail board, mark the sides too. I like the look of bigger tails with smaller pins. So let's mark those. You can pick up a jig like this anywhere. Mine has magnets on it in case you want to use a handsaw. A lot of times they don't have magnets, whatever. I'm going to go with a 1-6 angle because, you know, those look fancy. If I'm hand cutting dovetails, I like to cut the tails first. But since I'm using the scroll saw, I'm going to cut the pins first because it's a bit easier. So let's mark the waist. We want to get rid of these guys right here. That means when I'm cutting, I'm going to try to cut on the waist side of my lines. A 1 6 angle is nine and a half degrees. So I'm gonna tilt my saw to that. I went with a number seven blade in my saw. You can go with whatever blade you're comfortable with. I just know from my experience, I get straighter cuts with bigger blades. I cut the left side of my pins. Now I need to take my saw, tilt it to the opposite direction, and then cut the other side of the pins. I set my blade back to 90 degrees. Now it's time to remove the waist. The pin boards have a narrow side and a wide side. So we're gonna put the narrow side up, that way we can make sure that we don't accidentally cut too far and then cut into our tails. So the tiny little spot that the saw can't reach, a little corner right here. So we just take some chisels, knock those off real quick. Watch out now just a little bit of cleanup on that scribe line. I'm fortunate enough that my scroll saw tilts both ways. Now there are some scroll saws that only tilt one way. So what do we do with that? Well, we make a jig. Scroll saws don't have a lot of clearance between the blade and the tabletop. So we need a jig that's not too tall. So I grabbed some half inch thick MDF to make this. I'm gonna place the mark about a quarter inch from the edge up here. I got my dovetail guide so now I can simply make a mark. Put a ruler up against that line and extend that all the way down. Now we gotta cut this using the table saw, chop saw, band saw, scroll saw, whatever, just cut it. We'll just take our piece, set it here on the edge of this one, mark a line, cut that one out, and we'll have two identical pieces. I have some quarter inch MDF to make the top and the bottom. Again, you don't want really thick material because then it's gonna raise the height of your jig. Put a little bit of glue on this thing. Let's put a couple pin nails in it. There we go, let's test it out. Now we can keep our blade at 90 degrees, put our board on here, make our cuts, and then whenever we need to cut the other side, we simply flip the jig over to this side, make the other cuts. Boom, we got pins. I can set my pin board on my tail board and mark them. And then cut it. I marked the waist out, now we're gonna cut the tails. I'm gonna cut it just on the waist side of my lines.
A huge thanks to our superhero community members over on Patreon, members like William Bartlow. They really help out the channel and they allow me to make more videos, better videos here on YouTube. While we're at it, we'll go ahead and cut off those shoulders, making sure that we stay on the waist side of that scribe line. Now that I have these tails cut, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the shoulder and the scribe line with a chisel. Boom, there you go, scroll saw dovetails. So if you're a scroll sawer, don't be intimidated about doing fancy joinery. You can do it, it only took a couple minutes to knock out completely. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel and to meet again, get in your shop and build something awesome.